Very early in the morning, the rooster sends out... Welcome to my Hen and Rooster Christmas Giveaway Contest. I hope you have watched my recent video on the Robert Klaas Annual Damascus Knife 2012. At the end of the video I showed you some photos from the Robert Klaas factory tour. What I haven't told you so far is that when we were in the packing room I was allowed to pick three Hen and Rooster knives. The knives were ready to ship to the United States. As you can easily imagine, at first I was like Gollum and had this my precious look on my face, but then I thought I'd rather make two people happy than one. So I gave one knife to a family member, the other two knives are here. Look at these two beauties. The winner of this giveaway contest will get both. I figure giving both knives to one person makes the challenge a bit more appealing than splitting the prize. A huge thank you goes to the wonderful people at Robert Klaas who make these knives. Please remember Robert Klaas is a small family owned business and I'm more than happy to give them a little exposure here on my YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, they don't expect me to do this, but as you know from the past, I enjoy doing these contests and you guys can win some cool knives. So what have you got here? This is a three and a quarter inch Hen and Rooster Stockman knife with stack handle scales. There are three stainless steel blades which operate on two back springs, a clip master blade, a small sheep foot blade and a small spay blade. Very beautiful. The other knife is a Hen and Rooster Trapper. The handle length is three and seven eighths of an inch. It comes with two large blades, a clip blade and a spay blade. They are separated by an extra brass liner. The handle material is Corlon, a durable synthetic material which is similar in style to the old celluloid handles but more stable. The color is called Autumn Sun. I don't want to make this video overly long. If you want to do some research on these knives, I give you the model numbers. The Hen and Rooster Stockman has the model number 273DS. The Hen and Rooster Trapper has the model number 412ASC. You can Google the knives or you can look them up on frostcutlery.com, for example. The winner will also get a copy of the Messer Catalog 2013, Knife Catalog 2013. As some of you may remember, I worked as co-editor on this catalog. Yes, it's in German, but there are lots of photos in it and I'm sure you will enjoy browsing through the pages even if you can't read the texts. I will also draw two more winners who will also get a copy of this catalog. What do I want you to do this time? My goal is to give these knives to someone who really enjoys traditional slip joints. It would break my heart if I see these knives on eBay after Christmas. So you must be willing to invest an hour or two for this giveaway contest. Here are the rules. Number one, you must be a subscriber to my channel, old or new. If you haven't subscribed yet and want to enter the contest, please subscribe now. The contest is open to international subscribers. Number two, you have to be at least 18 years old and there won't be any exceptions to this rule. Finally, you have to do a video response. What you have to do is not knife related, but it is related to the overall German American theme of the Hen and Rooster brand. The Hen and Rooster trademark was invented in Solingen, Germany by Karl Bertram and it became very popular very quickly, especially in the United States. As you all know, I love history and documentaries. What I want you to do is to pick a historical person with some kind of German-American background. Do a little research on this person and make a mini documentary. This doesn't have to be anything fancy. 
Just give us some basic facts about the German-American background of this person and his or her greatest achievements. The person can be an American with German ancestors, it can be a German who emigrated to the US, anything. But both countries must have had some substantial influence on his or her life. What exactly do I mean by historical person and mini-documentary? The person must be dead. So please don't tell me that Sandra Bullock speaks German and that her greatest achievement was to get divorced from Jesse James. The person can be a scientist, a writer, a painter, an architect, a politician, a businessman. Let's put it this way, someone you can find on Wikipedia. As for the video, keep it short. The minimum length is 2 minutes, the maximum length is 4 minutes. I leave it up to you how you present the information, any style is allowed. You can step in front of the camera and tell us some anecdotes about the person you picked, or you can show some photos and add a voiceover commentary. The language of your video has to be English though. Be a little creative, make it fun and entertaining, use your own words, don't just reproduce the Wikipedia article. Just one important note, if you use music, please make sure it's royalty-free music. If you use any commercial music in your video, chances are high that your video gets blocked here in Germany and I won't be able to watch it. The contest will be open until Monday, December the 17th, 2012 at midnight GMT. Please post your video as a video response to this video. Thanks for watching and good luck in the contest. Good.